Hello, just another quick video on frequency splitting in Ableton, this time with auto filter. So we've got a sound. And I want to split that into low, mids and highs. So the first thing to do is create two duplicates, so we've got three of the same channel. Name the first one low, second one mid, and third one, you guessed it. Group those together, and call it whatever you want, I'm going to call it base one. And so I've made these um, presets for auto filter, which I'll make available in the description for download. So all you do with these presets is take the low, add it to the low channel, which is just a low pass filter, cut off at 300 hertz with a quite a small uh, resonance. You take mid one and add it to the mids, and then put mid two straight after that. And this um, is a high pass filter at 315 hertz with a low pass filter at 2k and the reason there's a gap between the 300 hertz cutoff of the low and the 315 of the mids is that Ableton's auto filter has quite a slow decibel per octave curve which means instead of cutting off you know here where it looks like there's a bit at the end where it's, it's very quiet but there's more frequencies in there than you want um, so by separating them like that it avoids things like phase cancellation and just general nastiness you get from overlapping frequencies with the same sound. Um, I'll take the highs and put it on high and this is just a high pass at 2.15 kilohertz. So now you've got your sound split up into different frequency bands it sounds the same as before and you can go ahead and add different effects to different frequency bands like that and always make sure they're before the filters so that it stays at the same split as we had it originally. Okay, thank you very much.